Hey everyone, Mike, Rideshare Reseller. Bad news, eBay blocked me from listing. Yeah, last night they blocked me from listing. Well, they blocked me for listing for a good reason though. I went over my limit, which I didn't know there was one. I guess because I'm so new, I went over the $15,000 mark and so they froze me out and I was like no nah, I wasn't in a complete panic but I was like wait a minute what's going on here I think it said like 500 listings $15,000 combined which is weird so that's between your active listings and your sold listings 15,000 so that was like the weird thing it's like how can they, they do that but anyhow they did so they, they blocked me. Um, so I made the phone call and I got a robo phone call thing and it seemed to like get me nowhere. Then I remembered, I said, let me try asking for the operator. So I asked the operator and I got an operator. Wow, pretty cool. So eBay, so they told me, hey, you know, we're gonna up your, your limit to 25,000. And I think, seven or eight hundred postings which I will never get to I think it's in a month but anyhow that was something that I didn't know I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and I never saw anything on that subject you know being uh, blocked from listing because you went beyond your your total amount I don't have a store yet I'm balancing that yet to see if it is worth it I think it is, but I, I just got to, you know, make sure that this is what I want to do, continue to do long term, which is what I do. But I, uh, some people I've heard like Craigslist Hunter that he doesn't, that he just pays the 35 cent listing fee. I'm not 100 percent positive. I have to check, check it out there. But uh, it's pretty reasonable. I think it's 20 bucks for so much, 100 instead of 50. But they gave me an extra hundred uh, this last month, uh, just as like a coupon or something. So I did get that. But I was I was kind of freaking out. I was like, oh man, what are I gonna do? You know, I'm gonna take a week uh, to to figure it all out. I wasn't positive, so you know, I was in a little bit of a panic because I was in the middle of posting some listings and it was it was frustrating. But they solved it very fast. So I gotta say, eBay's customer service for the first time for me worked. It was very good. So that's a positive. And anyhow, um, I, I'm happy that that's beyond me. So I don't want to have any problems with eBay. I just want to just you know continue to do what I do and, and make some money. So if, if any of you guys had that problem, you know, uh, you know, let me know with a comment or something because it's interesting. Uh, like I said, I didn't see many YouTube videos uh, at all on them. I must have missed it. And uh, so today was, was a pretty, it was a fair day. It seems to be a little slow out there in Goodwill land. Uh, and I, you know, made, made, I hit a lot of stores. And I found another thrift store. Found myself another thrift store, another little, another little hole in the wall. This one could be a good one. This one could be a really nice little hole in the wall. I picked up a jacket. I'll show you it in a second. And, it, you know, it's like how many times you hear about it, you know. Rank and Profit walks in and it's half off day or something. You know, you hear these, these stories, right? So I walk in and it, you'll see this. This vest was 9 bucks, And I got it for four fifty. It's like, okay, that's cool. It, you know, I'm surprised it was sitting up there because yeah, it's a, it's a well-known vest for a certain area of whatever. So anyhow, I'll show you those, uh, that and the other things that I, I did pick up here in a second. It's a busy day. Tomorrow I got another, uh, another round of golf in the beautiful Aptos area. I will be in Reezy Resales town tomorrow. Reezy is in Aptos and I'm going to be playing golf in Aptos. So anyhow, um, I will be back in a minute to show you what I got today. I did get... I got two cool, uh, maybe three cool items. I don't know, three cool items. So, uh, be back in a second. Hey everybody, Mike here, Rideshare Reseller. Gonna update you with uh, kind of the last three days worth of stuff that I sourced. 
This is going to be from Goodwill, Savers, um, and a garage sale today, several garage sales. So I'm going to update you this way. So I just wanted to kind of show you the total haul. So what you're going to see is there's pretty much everything from those few days. Uh, I got quite quite a few uh, quite a few nice items. Okay, so I'll try to go over these with you. It's gonna be a little tricky here at my camera, but I will see what I can do. And you can see some shoes that I picked up. Um, these shoes right here are from um, Nordstrom's. They're 901s, and the 901s are uh, from a guy who um, obviously took care of them. They're very nice. I paid ten dollars for ten dollars for all three pair, so three dollars and thirty-three cent. Picked up this uh, little uh, TiVo um, TiVo USB network adapter. These are. $29 I paid a dollar dollar at the at the garage sale so that's a pretty good buy uh, same garage sale picked up three ink cartridges and the ink cartridges are all going to be um, sold as a lot and I will probably garner about $20 $25 profit once they're uh, sold this one's a great buy you just walk in and you get these deals. Look at this one. Whenever you see old software, do not be afraid of it. That is Adobe Photoshop 6.0. Everything now with Adobe is subscription based. So it costs you a minimum of 10 bucks a month. So people will buy this, okay? So they don't have to have the subscription. Even though it's older, they'll use it. This particular one will sell between 100 and 150 dollars, brand new. And you can see what I paid. I think I paid 370, but 370. The kicker, it was half off, $1.85, $1.85, can't go wrong. I bought two PSP, one is a slim and one is a regular, I bought two for $28 total with, each had three games, so six games, uh, 50 to $60 total will be for each, so about $100, so a net profit of probably 60 when it's all done, 50, that kind of thing. Um, here we go. How about this? Some Keens, huh? I have sold Keens, you know, so they sell really well. $5.79 is what they were marked. And they'll be a $50 bill. Pretty straightforward. Pretty st um, okay. How about some Rockport men's ankle leather shoes that I paid about $5.79 also for? Very, very good condition. $40 they'll sell for. Um, here's another item, a little bit of a, uh, kind of, I call them tchotchkes, but it's a napkin holder. Very nice. $1.49 is what I paid. And, uh, 19 to $25. But a sim I liked it. It just looked real cool. So, you know what? If you like it, it usually means it's probably pretty good. So, don't be afraid of picking it up if you like it, because it might be worth some money. Interesting cup. You can see it as the activist. They call it the activist cup. Uh, I paid $1.49. The name on it is Fish. Fish is Eddie. Fish is Eddie. It, it'll sell. And it'll sell for $20. I don't sell many coffee mugs, but that one was very cool. Very cool. Um, good item to buy are older hardware. Older hardware. And in here are brass hinges. I paid $1.79 each box at Savers. There are three of them. There are three boxes. And um, I will probably get $45 to $50 for the three boxes. So, you know, another good little sale. Let's see what's over here. Um, interesting. Don't forget old models. There you go. An old model, $5. These are $50 to $70. The last model I had, which was that, I believe it was the um, uh, Lakers one, it's a, an airplane, I bought it for $3, it sold for like 65 bucks, and it sold within a week. So old models, they don't make them anymore, and there's these guys out there, and they want them. So don't, don't shy away from that. This is an interesting piece. This is really kind of cool. Pop art. 
again, uh, don't dismiss the lighting section at these stores. This was sitting in there. I had no idea what it was, but it was cool. Again, my eyes told me, get it. So I got it. Put it in my cart, and a, another buddy reseller was in the store, and he missed it. And when he looked at it, he goes, that's got to be worth something. And uh, 50 to $80, it's a, you know, a winner. Five bucks. So constantly look for all, all areas of the store, and you might be amazed at what you'll find. So this is really kind of a cool... The little light goes on and the, the olive uh, shines bright red. So this is a man cave or bar stuff. So this is pretty cool. All right. Never pass up this game if it's reasonable. It's got to be reasonable. Five or ten bucks. It's called Castle World. Okay. I mean, sorry, Cathedral World. I always forget. It's called Cathedral World. I'm thinking of something else. But this is now my third one. And the most expensive I paid was 10. This one was five something, 549. And this one's like mint, brand new. I'm gonna hold this one for a little bit. I have another one online. I'm gonna wait for this, the, the other one to clear. And then I'm gonna um, put this one up uh, for a little bit more money. Cause it is, it's like pristine, non-yellowing, all that kind of stuff. Okay, here's another item. Wasn't 100% positive what this was at first. I thought it was broken. You know, when you look at it, okay, what was it? It's a hole there, and it finally dawned on me, a wine bottle holder. So the bottle of wine goes in the hole, goes in that little hole there, and it looks like a baseball bat. And then they have many different teams. There's the Giants, because I'm a local San Francisco area, so it will sell to a local probably. I put it on offer up is what I will put it on, and uh, because it's local, I also will put it on eBay, but. It will go on offer up, and hopefully somebody local will will, will snag it. Uh, makes things a little bit easier. So I use offer up and let go on a lot of different items. So again, many platforms. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to put it all on on it on everything. Okay, books on CD. The right ones will sell. This one on Scout IQ nets thirty two dollars. So. You gotta look for these sometimes. This one was cool. I never heard of it. A Confederacy of Dunces, unabridged. So anyhow, got that one, and I got all these other books for six dollars total. So it probably cost me a buck, a little less than a buck. <clears throat> these items were cool. They're magical mermaid and dolphins. They're some kind of oracle type cards, and they're dollar seventy nine. Three of them will make me about four dollars a profit each on FBA. So three of them, I got, I got a total of four. I got a total of four, dollar seventy nine each. One of them is going to garner me twenty two dollars. So twenty two four four four. You do the math. Forty bucks for ten dollars. Uh, you know, keep that FBA monster fed, fed. Keep feeding it. And once you start to build up, I'm only uh, at about 450 books, and I sell, and on average, you know, three books a day, and that's not bad for me, you know. Uh, and I uh, have over 200 books sold now, which is pretty good for me. I'm happy with that. A couple other ones, don't forget the weird, strange comic books. You got one thing you got to do is make sure you can sell them on FBA. Sometimes you'll get excited. You'll see that they garner you like 20 bucks. Like well, one's 20 and one's 12 here. You've got to check to make sure that Amazon doesn't restrict you because some of the brands like Marvel, even though one of those is Marvel, I can still sell it. So I must be unblocked, I think, on Marvel. I checked. So you got to really be careful there. Over here, some really nice brand new Crocs. Um, I paid eight dollars for these and um, paid up a little bit but they're brand new they're not gonna be great price seller I'm gonna make money because they are brand new brand new shoes with tags uh, name brands they will always do you good no matter what if you price them right obviously but I um, will make probably twenty twenty five dollars net on those two guys right on those shoes right there now this said this shoe it, again your eye tells you right your eye will tell you a lot. Look at this. Look at that shoe. 
you see all those little spikes on it? This is a Jeffrey Campbell, brand new, brand new pair, brand new pair of those. It's orange. Um, they'll be seventy to eighty-five dollars. It's probably what they'll they'll get me because they are brand new. Another great little find, you know. Can't go wrong. Brand new shoes. I paid ten. I paid ten dollars. Over here, um, this was. I mean, this was just like a no-brainer. I couldn't believe this was a garage sale. It was still there. Little Harley Davidson like Christmas stocking, and um, two bucks. I paid two dollars. So yeah, whatever. It's gonna sell for what? I don't know. You know, but it'll it'll sell. It's Harley Davidson. There's some of the books I got. The other books that came with that one CD book. Over here, I got a um, a Magnavox uh, DVD HDD digital tuner and recorder, one terabyte. They, I paid 15 for that, but those units right there will sell between 100 and 150 dollars, depending on which one you get. So really look those out over. You got to check them out. You got to make sure everything's okay with it. Over here. That little black item right there, that is an RV or pickup truck extender step. Pickup bumper step extender uh, by Joe Dog. Brand new, they're about 250. That is brand new, never used. I paid $10 for that. That guy will sell between $150 and $175. So, you know, unbelievable find right there. Uh, Again, just keep looking for these items. They're going to pop up for you. And let's get over here and take a look at some of my clothes. Uh, let's show you some of the clothes I got. Really cool uh, Brooks and Dunn uh, shirt. Today I paid at a garage sale for a dollar, one dollar. And this week I got my first two Panagonias. Panagonia number one, and it was four ninety nine. Panagonia, Panagonia number two. I got a really nice Polo Sport by Ralph Wren. Uh, super, this is really clean. Polo, Ralph Wren non-iron. There we go. Very nice little shirt. This was a really cool little shirt find. You don't see these around much because they're, they're top. Untuck it. If you ever see an untuck it, it's a good shirt. And uh, this is an XXL. And um, this one should go pretty good. This should be a pretty good little seller. And then I picked up a Peter Millar uh, Nano Lux. Nano Lux. It's a Peter Millar Nano Lux. Very nice shirt. All of those are your typical shirts will sell between let's say 20 and $30. Generally speaking, I paid no more than five. This is a really cool vest. Look for these guys. Scott E vest, Scott E vest. If you opened it up, there's all kinds of pockets, all kinds of everything. And it's a travel, travel vest for the trip of your life. And I paid 450 and this will sell for 69 bucks all day long. So another little nice little find. So that's pretty much the haul for the for the day or for the last. Uh, that would be Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So that would be Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Not not too bad for uh, for uh, those three days. I don't know what I have in net profit once it all sells again. Once it all sells, but you've got you know in the just in the software. The DVR and the truck step. Uh, I know I have an easy 300 net profit right there. And those three, if I sold those three, it would be a $300 net profit. So quite a bit of profit. You know, you know. So we're looking, you know, four, five hundred dollars. Pretty straightforward. So uh, I hope the video helped you out, gives you some ideas of what to look for. And uh, until we see you again, don't forget. Hey, hit the like button or subscribe. Appreciate it. Uh, more videos like this to come. I'm going to have a big long sold video hopefully here in the future to uh, go over, you know, 30, 40 items to show you what they actually sold for. 
So again, hey, thanks everybody. Have a great weekend.